Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I mount my embroidery artwork onto canvas so it can be used as wall art. So in terms of tools you need, the only thing that's required is obviously your embroidery work. And then you're going to need a staple gun and a canvas to put it on. I find these pre-made canvases the easiest to use. You can buy these at any craft store for a couple of dollars. Optional tools that will make it easier is a staple remover and then basting spray. So before we staple the embroidery onto the canvas, this is useful for positioning so it doesn't move around and it's easier to get everything lined up. So here I have my embroidery art, which we want to turn into wall art. I'm going to remove the stabilizer here. We just need to remove the stabilizer on the outside. There is stabilizer here inside but that doesn't really make a difference since this is all going to be covered from the back so i'm also going to want to clean up the edges here a little bit so i don't have too much excess fabric and what i like to do is um, i'll place my canvas right over the embroidery and then i'm going to measure how much fabric i actually need and when we're doing this i like to fold over have enough fabric to fold over itself so I'm going to kind of guess that it's about two and a half inches. I'll measure two and a half inches. Okay, so I've just marked in chalk very roughly where I can cut. And I'm using pinketing shears, I think they're called. And all that does is when it cuts the fabric, it does it. So it's not going to fray as much. I've gone ahead and cut away my excess fabric. So the hardest part, I think, when doing this is making sure the embroidery is centered and not crooked. And that's why I suggest using the basting spray to help us adjust it without it moving around. So first, I'm going to just spray a little bit onto the canvas. And basting spray is not permanent. That's why I like it. So you can easily pick up and move without it being too sticky. So this embroidery piece is not going to cover exactly the canvas. We are going to have some fabric on the edges. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and try to get it as center as I can. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. I'm just pushing down so it sticks as much as can and then I'm just going to with my hands wrap the sides around do those look even and then the top and bottom as well now the basting spray is sticking it so we don't have to worry about this moving around and we're going to turn it over and start stapling so I have my staple gun I'm just going to do four staples one on each side, and then I'm going to turn it over and look at it before I get too far and realize something's wrong. So when we staple, I like to fold over a little bit and then pull it over so you don't have the raw edge exposed. So I'm going to do the middle on each side. So we folded it and then I'm pulling a little bit on the fabric so it does get tight, holding it with one hand and be careful you don't staple your finger. And then there's one staple. And I'll rotate and I'm going to do that again on each side. Okay, so I've done one of each side and now I will turn it over again and give it one more look to make sure it is even. So I think that looks good and I can finish it. If there was a mistake, then you'd want to make sure you take out the staples and make sure it's aligned. So now I'll go ahead and continue. I'm doing the corners last. So we're just going to go ahead and staple the same way. Probably on the long sides, I'll put maybe four more staples. And then on the short sides, just two more. I've done all my sides and all that's left is the corners. They are the most tricky. But with some practice, you get used to it. So first, I'm going to trim off some of the excess fabrics. I'm just going to snip off the top, maybe that much, all the way around. So when you're doing corners, I like to be mindful of where the fold is going to be, depending on the orientation of the picture. So since the picture will be mounted like this, 
I want the fold. I want this side to not have the fold showing. So for example, you want it to look like that with the fold up here versus having it come down because then you can see it more. This is the side of the picture. You notice you don't see the fold as much. Corners are tricky and they did take me a while to get used to, but I am pretty good at them now. So we have our corner here. So for the side that the fold's going to be showing, we want to staple it as far in as we can. So I'll put one more staple there. And then on this side where the fold will not be showing, we don't want to staple it yet. So holding the picture up, we are going to kind of fold the fold in half, if that makes sense. So right now it's one fold, but if I fold it in half, you can see we have two folds. So the fold on the right, I'm going to pull down and position it. And then this other fold will come over it like that. So just showing you again before I staple it. So we have the fold like this. This is the side I don't want the fold showing. We're going to divide this in half. The right fold. The side that the fold will be showing on is where we're pulling toward. You might want to adjust it a little. And then we'll pull this over. And you can see like there is kind of some fold showing there. So this is where you have to play with it and adjust it until it's to your liking. Too much fold showing. Okay, I think that looks better. So there. So that I think looks good for my fold. So now holding this down, we'll kind of tuck this under. Holding it with one finger, I'm going to put a couple staples here. And this, again, be careful, we're not stapling fingers. So remove and staple. Well, I'll probably put one right here. And that is how to do a corner fold. You can see the back looks relatively clean. And from the sides, it looks nice and smoother. So I've actually run out of staples and I can't do the rest, but let me show you a finished object here of a different one. So here's another canvas I did. And you can see all of my corners are nicely folded. And on the back, we have it here. So this works with any size, picture, canvas, same method. No matter how small or big, you can pretty much turn anything into embroidery art. So if you found this useful or end up hanging some of your own embroidery art, let me know. I definitely like to see it.